A lot of people think that the school choice system doesn't really work very well and that maybe it's even a sham, people don't really have any choice, they just end up going to their local school and so on. So we use some brand new data to look at that, to look at the choices that, that parents actually made, the, the names of the schools they wrote down on their forms and try to see whether that's true. This is data from the Department for Education and this is every uh, child in the state schools in the country and in particular here what we're looking at is the fraction of parents who are making all of their choices. So we, we find out from the data set the names of the schools that each parent has filled in on their form and that allows us to, to do this study. One of the myths is, one of the stories is that parents just choose their local school. That's the end of the story. They just go to their local school. In fact, it turns out that's not true at all. Only around 39% of parents put the, their local school as their top choice. So that's, that's very surprising. It's very stark. It's suggesting that parents are not simply, oh, well, we'll just go local. They're actually looking around and they're being strategic uh, in terms of which school they are choosing. And in fact, um, only about half of parents put their nearest school into any of their top three slots. People in general talk a lot about um, gaming the system, such as uh, having a particular skill, uh, being good at maths or being good at uh, music or something, or having a, um, some connection to a faith school. Those things happen and they are not unimportant, but they're all minor compared to one single overriding factor. For a school that's oversubscribed, for a school that has many more applications than it has places, in the end, the final tiebreaker, the final thing that determines who gets in and who doesn't, is distance, the distance between your home and the school. Living near to a, a high-performing school raises the price of your house. So what we have here is literally a system that says where you live determines which school you can get into. So that is what essentially keeps out the poorer families from getting into the higher performing schools.